let's take a closer look at the advanced compressor and gate settings. Some of you may not know what any of these things mean, and that is totally okay. You can use just the collapsed version. It's an amount control for the compressor, and it's essentially a one knob. You turn it up till it sounds good, you turn it down, and you set it and forget it. But if you'd like to learn about how all this stuff works, I'm gonna do my best to explain it. So compression, in a nutshell, reduces the highest level of the volume that's going in and brings up the lowest level, essentially squishing or compressing the dynamic range or the, the loudness range of the signal into something smaller, which in broadcast often sounds more even and consistent. And that's where you typically will get, and combined with equalization, the sort of radio voice sound where everything is just nice and smooth. So threshold here, is the level at which the compression starts to happen, which means as my voice reaches a certain level, the compressor kicks in and starts compressing that dynamic range. So I typically set this to somewhere in this range, minus 15, minus 20 dB. I actually like to lightly compress fairly often. Other people like to just heavily compress when it gets super loud, and that's more like what they would call a limiter, which is just, it hits a wall and you don't want it to go any louder than that. But I like to have the compressor kick in somewhere in the middle of the levels that I'm using for my voice. So you can start with minus 15 and see how it goes from there. The ratio, which is right next to it, is how much do we reduce it for every amount that it goes over the threshold. So as I pass 15 decibels here, minus 15 dB, okay, for every decibel I go over that, it's going to reduce it by four. So that's a four to one. For something very subtle, you want like a 1.2, 1.6. I find four, uh, 2.5, 3.2. .2. These ones in the middle sound quite nice and smooth, but essentially that's how the things sort of arcs off the volume level as you go over the threshold and the higher the ratio obviously if you're going up by one and over by eight or down by eight uh, it's going to be a, a much more compressed sound so these are the ones that sound a bit more natural in the middle the attack here is how fast so after i've gone over this threshold how fast does the compressor start compressing generally i set this quite fast i say i want it to compress pretty much right away. If I've gotten too loud or anything, just bam, hit it and start compressing. The release on the other hand is how long does it take for me to let go of that compression? How long do I continue to compress that signal? Now, if you set your release very long, you'll actually end up hearing a lot of room noise and things because the compressor is trying to bring up the level of nothing because you've stopped talking. So you don't want it to be too long, but you don't want it so short that it starts sounding kind of wavy for lack of a better word it would start sort of breathing and and it sounds a bit funny so i find that i start around 100 milliseconds and i might make my way up to somewhere in the 300s maybe um i but some you know anywhere over that it's going to start getting a little bit long the last control is makeup gain the trick that i use to figure out how much makeup gain i need is i find my threshold okay and I've set it down, say, minus 15, which means as things come up over that threshold, I know they're going to compress. I actually take the threshold now and set it to zero, which means until I get to the very maximum of me speaking, it's not going to do any compression. And I put the makeup gain to zero. And I should hear my voice sounding pretty much exactly as it goes in. There's no, there should be no compression happening at this point. I then flip it back to my minus 15. And I'll notice that my voice gets a little bit quieter. What's happened is it squished the dynamic range, but by bringing down the peaks, it's also brought down the overall level and you need to make up, haha, -ha, make up gain for that amount and bring it back up. So in this case, I've brought it up by five dB and you can just use your ears to make sure that it sounds good. If you start getting into quite high levels of makeup gain, it's definitely an indicator that you may have to do your mic setup over again. So you go into system there, and you do your talking into the mic and you make sure that you're sitting in the good range here. Um, it's, it's a good indicator that you may be in the low range if you're pumping up a bunch of makeup gain or that you've done compressor settings that are super aggressive. Like if you've got your threshold really low, so you're compressing all the time and you've got your ratio super high so that you're compressing the living heck out of everything, then you may need a lot of makeup gain. And that may be the sound that you're looking for, but generally people are looking for something that controls the dynamics without actually making it sound compressed. Let's move on to the gate. So the gate works in exactly the same way, except 
The gate is almost working backwards. The gate is allowing sound through when you're making noise, and then it's closing that gate down and making it so that there's no noise when you're not speaking. So the threshold is actually for when the gate opens. So similarly to, you know, when do I start compressing after what level? The gate threshold is when do I open up the gate and allow the audio through? The quieter your room, the lower this threshold can be. If you have high background noise, you're going to have to set a higher threshold. Or in the case of I have a quite clicky mechanical keyboard, I have to set my threshold and be pretty tricky with it to knock out my keyboard sounds but still allow me to speak. So there's a balance there of kind of trying things and experimenting. The attack, how fast does the gate open when it hears me speaking? You want that to happen as fast as possible, otherwise you might be in a situation where you are cutting off T's and S's in the very beginnings of sounds and it can make things sound a little bit weird. So there's really no reason to not just have this down as low as it will go, but we put the control in there anyway if you wanted to do something strange with an effect or something like that. And the release, in the same way it worked for the compressor, is how long does it take for that gate to close back up again after it hears uh, the level go below the threshold? So it says, oh, I've heard, you know, now we're at, this is at minus 45. We say, now I'm at minus 46 and I should close, but I'm going to take 650 milliseconds, so just over half a second, to close the gate. The amount of time that it takes to close the gate can prevent a kind of chopping sound where it cuts off at the end. So there you go, some in-depth look at the compressor and the gate.